So as we said, to upload an image to the server, we made an Axios post request. And here we are receiving the request like you see, which is all that. And now let's just like start to really receive an image and upload it to uh, Cloudinary. So I will extract the image property that we have sent from the request body like that and I will start to upload this image inside Cloudinary. How we can do that? Let's go to the Cloudinary API and see the upload asset feature and let's go to the Node.js way which is here and as you see we have Cloudinary version 2 uploader dot upload and all we have to do is to put the image source which is the image that we have here and and start to if we want to make a public id form for it or something and give it a function and in the function we can console log the results this let's take it and start dealing with it in our way because i will tell you how to handle that in an advanced and in a better way than what's written in the a in the api library so here we don't need the v2 because if you remember we have set up that sorry i forgot that we have set up that with the v2 so we don't need it so we have it here this is the cloudinary and this is the method that we will use to handle uploading a file we don't need this file right here so we will take it away and we will put our image after that we we don't have to set a public id the library will set a public id for us as you see i copied that from the library right but now we need to put here some presets is it necessary no you can just like skip it or anything but i will show you some of the presets that i used in my uh, in my e-commerce website so let me paste them here at first i used an upload preset and actually you have to use an upload preset let's see what is the upload preset because i named it unsigned upload let's see that here and how to use it so before you can upload anything to the library you need to have an upload preset there is a default one i guess because if you did not mention what are the upload presets it will go to the the upload pr presets that is actually the default which is a signed one but believe me you don't need the signed one the signed one means that you have to send a header with the request every time you try to upload an image and the header just like if, if imagine that you are an admin and you want to send a uh, product images to the cloudinary then you have to get an admin authorized um, key so that that is the signed one you need a key to send with the with every axios uh, post request to the server to actually accept that you can alter or update or upload an image to cloudinary so you don't need a signed one when you try to register a new user a new user should not have any keys and should not have any authorization or authentication keys so you need an unsigned one which means that anyone can upload an image to your to your uh, website so this is what you need if you want to register a new user i named it unsigned upload and the way you do that is just like add upload presets from here so you will choose a name for the upload presets you can say it what, whatever you want i just named it unsigned uploads because this is an expressive name the signing method you will you will choose unsigned if you, uh, and i repeat if this is an image that you want anyone to be able to send the folder do you need to save that in a certain folder i actually i have made a in the media library here i have made an, an a, a folder that is called user avatar in which i uh, i send all the avatar images that the user uh, put so i have this file here you can just like simply make a full a file a folder from here just like add a folder and add whatever folder name that you want one for the products one for the avatar whatever you want 
and just put the name of the folder here so the folder i will use is user avatar um by the way it's 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 optional you don't have to suggest a an an a, a folder but in that case the images will be here sometimes you want to be more organized so you want to put the avatars of the users in a folder for them after that to, to enable the overwrite method uh, actually is a way that you can overwrite the existing assets with the same public id so if you have an image with the same public id the public id is actually the name of the image uh, which is coming just like after the the past name of the how i can tell you that well if you if you try to prevent or preview an image on the on a file like here or something you will have something like slash and the name of the image avatar.png or whatever this is a public id of the image so you choose sometimes you choose to preset the public id and sometimes you let it choose whatever a public id to it to add to you and generate just like a random characters for the to rename the image so to enable this thing you you are enabling to uh update the image with a new not save an image twice with if it has the same public id and uh, by the way you need this because if somebody chose a picture that is already by accident uh, actually uploaded by another user in the cloudinary as an avatar because sometimes people use just like not their own images an image from the internet so if the if the user chose an image that's already in the public with a public id and it's stored in your media library this way enable you to it will use the same public other than that if you turn it that off then the upload will fail and the 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 asset that the user who accidentally chose a, a an image that someone else chose before it will not be uploaded so the default is on anyway so this is a way it, that you can make an upload pre preset and as you see here i have my upload preset uh, i have a unique file name to true and uh, all the things most of them are actually default ones the folder i i chose is here and the public id uh, is actually left to be whatever the image is so let's go back now and look again at our presets that we have added and we just changed this one so after we copied the things from here we just altered in this part okay so let's go back again so the upload presets are the, the presets that i chose for my image the public id i used to choose what is it for example if you have a form and you have a username maybe you want the avatar of the image p with the public id of the username plus the word avatar i used to do that because i want the the person whenever he choose his image in the browser and see it he see with it a user his username so it will look like amin avatar a muhammad avatar ali avatar or George avatar something like that the allowed formats this is very important my friends because the allowed forms formats are actually the way we will pre we will prevent the user from uploading any files other than images so png jpg or whatever but nothing like a pdf nothing like a pig file or something like that so allowed formats are only images in this case so here we have the image here we have the upload presets and here we have the function at the end this function actually sends an error if there is an error and it sends the result if the result is okay so i'm not handling the error right here so let me handle the error if error clg error because i will show you how we can send a false a file 
and how that will be handled and it will be refused from the cloudinary uh, cloud image uploading system and here the result will appear if there is a result I will show you what is the result and actually we will send the result to the front end to be handled on the front end side and I have to choose a status for that of 200 because it means success so by this way actually we have a cloudinary upload method and by this way you don't need anything else but suppose that you you don't only need the cloudinary uh, upload to send the request right away so we will remove this from here because most of the times you will handle a lot or a large load of, um, of form data so you may need this only as a step in the post requested so uploaded image will be that and I will await the result of it when it finishes let, let's try to response dot status I have written that right no okay so I'll send the uploaded image here and let's catch if there are any errors let's catch that error so by this way we have a post request that is ready we have an image that we extracted from the body we can send of course many more data just like a first name or something and it will come from the body too we will choose an upload presets to upload our image and we will have a public ID that we can name whatever we want of course we I can't name it right now with the username because I do not have a username right now so I will just uh, deal with the avatar and you can write it now with the normal way now we have a um, I will not choose I will not preset the public ID here because if all the images are called avatar then this is a bad thing so I do not have something unique to put the images with sometimes you may need something unique like the username whatever the, whatever you need but we will take that from here and cloudinary will handle giving my images a public id but remember that this public id is something we need because this is what we will send to uh, the database if we have a mongodb database or whatever and it's what we will send actually to the front end so we will only extract from this uploaded image uh, sent files only the the public id let's see what is actually the load that is coming from this uploaded image i'm gonna send the file here let's open the console and let's submit okay we have a, a network error what is the error about see what is the error we have so the message is saying that we have an invalid avi key hmm. so the avi key is having something wrong yeah we have the cloudinary name two times here so we need the api key from here And now I think everything will work fine. Okay, let's send the image again. And yep, we have our image uploaded to Cloudinary and this is the Cloudinary response. So as you see, this is the Cloudinary response that is coming back from the server which is the uploaded image from cloudinary let's see what are the information that we have inside this image 
This image is actually having an access mode of public. It has an API key, which we will not send back to, of course, we will just send some things of these. And the asset ID, I think there is a public ID here, which is here, that's it. It's in the folder user avatar, and it has generated a public ID, which will always be unique for each image, unless you give it a name by yourself. And the folder is user avatar, and this is all the things that we need to know about our image. Now, do we have, do we need all of these? No, we just need this, the public ID. And I will tell you how we can use this public ID. We can even send it to the MongoDB and save the user with this avatar image. We will just give the image if you are having a schema for the user and you are sending the profile image of the user to the MongoDB, you just need this one. Why that? We will just see in a second.